This is Ask a Ninja, and I'm standing here with Dr. Kiki, who is most well known for being a black belt in Taekwondo. That is true, right? It's true. She is. Uh, slightly less well known is uh, all of the wonderful science shows that you do online. We've got to okay. cover the thousand and one things that make up the life of Dr. Kiki. First off, you have gotten extraordinarily fat. I'm not a doctor. Pregnancy. I was gonna say, I think you're pregnant. It's not a basketball. If it were, you'd be just in like a Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> game where they hide it under a shirt. But uh, you are doing lots of amazing things here right now since you've been born. I do a lot of stuff. One thing is uh, you have a doctor in front of your name. I do. I do. She's an actual doctor. This is not a made-up thing like Dr. Dre, Real. Dr. Love, or one of those type of things. <laughs> Dr. J, even. Mm, I wonder if I could change that, Dr. Love. No, um, I have a, a PhD in neurophysiology. So I spent years studying the intricate inner workings of, of feet. the bird's brain. Of a bird's brain. <laughs> uh, now, uh, often people call a, a bird brain somebody who's dumb. Yeah, I, th I take it as a compliment. Smartest bird. Like the top level bird, the bird that the other birds look up to. And, and I'm, please don't say owl. No, it's not an owl. Owls I didn't are think not, so. Our, owls aren't that smart. No, no they're, 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 they're the pretentious guy at a party who's like wearing a turtleneck and, and, a, and, and, a, and a suit jacket. Ooh. Owls hear really well, have great eyesight, but when it comes down to cognitive powers, I'd give it a toss up between. Uh, parrots. And then in the corvid family, the new Caledonian crow has been talked about a lot recently. For really? Its, yeah, for being as smart as chimps. Is that is that yeah. the type of crow that Brandon Lee turned into in the movie The Crow? Is that the <laughs> is that the death crow or is that a different type of different crow? Different kind of crow. So let's talk about the uh, four million shows that you do. It's not because four million. It's, 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 maybe it's just four. I don't know. But uh, you do a lot of uh, shows, and it's really, uh, a lot of them are online. A lot, of, a lot of them are accessible to the online audience. You're getting science out there yeah. to the Weber geeks. Uh, what, are your, what are your shows that you're doing right now that are, that are still going on? Right now, I have This Week in Science. This Week in Science. It's a weekly rundown, kind of an opinionology take of, of science. Is so opinionology about... itself a science? <laughs> It's made up science. And that is just your opinion about what's going on this week in science? Yeah, we pick stories that are in the news, we talk about them, and then kind of bring in our own take on where they might be going. So it's it's science, but it's not really, really hard science. No. We make it fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's Dr. Kiki's Science Hour. And that's you getting into your business. Yes. And yes. so that's much more in depth. That's where I really talk with an expert about a single topic. We go for about an hour. And really dig in. Let's get into some science. Okay. You were talking about uh, technology and people and the way that we're going to use these tools. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make two assumptions. Okay. One, first assumption is human evolution is linear. The second assumption is technological evolution is exponential. Do you agree with either of those assumptions? To a point. To a point, yeah. I think technolo technological evolution is advancing at an exponential rate, but we don't know whether or not there's going to be a point where that it's going to hit a plateau. So but we're going really slow. It happens really slowly. slowly. Much, much more slowly than computer. So doesn't it seem like uh, we got to start putting that, plugging that into us? Sure. Do you think I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, all, I'm, I'm all for advancing human evolution, taking that jump. But would you would you be cars. willing to release your biology? Not if if, if someone said if someone said I can actually one hundred percent represent you in a virtual form. Like everything, all of your thoughts, all of your processes. Right. Um, after it had been beta tested. Oh, but you, you're not, you're not, you're, you're in the back of the room. I know. I'm not the beta tester yeah. for releasing my biology and becoming part of the information. You'll sign grid. on the second page. You'll yeah. sign up on the second page. Uh, let's talk about some crazy science. Okay. Lab-grown proteins or lab-grown uh, synthetic meat. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. If they can get it to work well, then I, doesn't it get rid of a whole bunch of, uh, of ethical issues? But uh, that, that also puts a bunch of cattle farmers out of business, puts the meat industry out of business. No, I mean, I, I, I think that there will always be a place for farm-raised animals. People are serious about their meat. I am a vegetarian, so not oh, really well, so serious. There you go. So you're, yeah. you're, you're fine with that. 
Yeah. You'd I'm be like, absolutely, now I can have a steak. <laughs> uh, what do you think about uh, evolutionary robotics? I think it's great. Um, on, on This Week in Science, we have a segment of the show called This Week in World Robot Domination uh -huh. that we've been doing for a long time, <laughs> kind of following the evolution of the robots. But is it really you know? just, just to let the robots know when they finally do become sentient that, that you're like, we've been on your side. We we've know, been... we're on your side. Yeah. That's what I, that's, I've got a record. We'd love back. to be your monkeys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Kiki, thank you for coming down to this molecular level to just uh, do some ridiculous rambling with me. You're welcome. This was fun. I appreciate it. And uh, you can watch uh, all of her wonderful shows online, and you can find out everything you need to know about Dr. Kiki at kirstenstanford.com. We'll catch you next time with another great interview. Yeah. If you can't get enough ninja, which I can't possibly see how you could, check out this week's vids. A smoke bomb! <laughs>